All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem two to the power of 30 minus one. So to solve this, I'm gonna rewrite this as two to the power of 15 times two minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 15 times two is the same thing as two to the power of 15 to the power of two. And negative one is the same thing as negative one squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is two to the power of 15 and b is one. So now I have two to the power of 15 plus one times two to the power of 15 minus one. Now, two to the power of 15, well, what's the value of that? Well, two to the power of 10, this is 1,024. So two to the power of 11 is double of two to the power of 10, which is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now two to the power of 12 is double of 2,048, which is 4,096. Two to the power of 13 is double of 4,096, which is 8,192. Two to the power of 14 is double of that, which is 16,384. And finally, two to the power of 15, this is double of this, which is 32,768. So I have 32,768 plus one, times 32,768 minus one. And now this is equal to 32,769 times 32,767. Now, a simple way to solve this, instead of having to actually multiply them the regular way, is to rewrite this as 32,000 plus 769 times 32,000 plus 767. Now I'm gonna distribute. So I get 32,000 times 32,000, which is equal to 1024000000. This is 1 billion, 24 million. And now I have this plus 32,000 times 767 plus 769. And finally, I have at the end 767 times 769 which is equal to 589,823. So let me add all of this up. You can, you can actually do this on paper if you want, but just to make this easier, I'm gonna use a calculator to add all this up. So if I add all of this up, I get 1,073,741,823. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the property that states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y, so this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as seven times, or sorry, not seven, 49 times one. 
49 is equal to 49 times 1, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as 7 times 7. Now, we obviously know that a plus b is going to be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, this means that we can't we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as 7 times 7 as 7 and 7 are equal. So this possibility is out of the way and 49 times 1 is the only possibility here. Meaning we're going back to a time a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times 1. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1 because a minus b, 1 is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form a number, a number times a number. So, and notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1. So what we have here is a system of equations, and I'm going to add these system of equations. a plus a is 2a, b and negative b cancel out, and 49 plus 1 is 50. So I get that 2a is equal to 50, and if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get a is equal to 25. Now that we know that a is equal to 25, remember how we said that a plus b is equal to 49. So this means that 25 plus b is equal to 49 and b is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So a equals 25 and b equals 24.